Hello, good evening and welcome. Thanks for coming along this uh, lovely Tuesday evening. It's a very nice evening out there. Calm, peaceful and warm. I'll just bring Keith in. I've just pressed the wrong button. Yeah, well, I'm still there. Good evening, there everybody. <laughs> and uh, very pleased to see you all. It's uh, good to see so many already. It's early yet. Oh, Alison's in now as well. So uh, keeping an eye on me, make sure I'm behaving. So tonight we're going to be making a very large bowl. Well, very large for me. It's the largest I've ever done. It's 16 inches diameter at the moment. And I can show you it. It's on the lathe. There it take is. Me out, mate. Put me in I'll, the I'll take you. Yeah, okay. And then I'll leave Keith to do the, to telling me who's here in good time. Do, do the honours in a minute. There it is. It's... um. It, it, it fits quite tightly, snugly onto the lathe. It's down very near the bed bars at the bottom. I've turned it round a little bit so that I can get to it easily, but uh, but it's uh, it's a snug fit, which is which is fine. That's absolutely fits. That's amazing. I did have to reduce it a little bit to make it fit, but we won't uh, go too far on that one. So I'll just cover my keyboard since I've remembered, and let's start. Start making shavings. Oh, headset's falling off. Apart from that, everything's fine. Right, okay, now then. Dum -de dum dum. Start with that one. Right, so this is the underneath. I've already, I've, tr I've trused a little bit because it was a long way out, this one. It's quite twisted, um, but it's now running fairly true. Um, I've, I've put the mounting point in for when we turn it round. There we are. Let's... Right. Well, while you're chuntering uh, yes. away at that, I'll uh, go through the participants list, which won't give me all of you, but uh, out of the 25 that are watching, Alison's in. Hi, Alison. And apparently you're in turning, so it's not just a figment of the imagination. We are watching you. <laughs> i got Barry Chitty, a couple of Howell Wood turning, Dave Edman, David J. He, Douglas Mungham, Gary Y, Gerard the French Turner, who's in for a little while. He's not stopping, apparently. Hodgepodge, Robert, Ian Leonard, Lawrence Bagasia, Paul Hyden, Peter Cochran. Oh, he's just jumped. I've missed someone now. Richard RJK, Robert Coleman, Tommy's Workshop, Wayne Wood, hi Wayne. Hello Wayne. Uh, I can't see who's down the bottom. Good. It's Colin. So if I've missed any of you, I do apologise. Um, this cabin was the one that just jumped in. So if you have questions, please uh, put a question mark in or a couple of question marks on the chat so that we can see it. I will do my best to relay it to uh, Andy and one of us will answer you. I don't know what this uh, face mask is doing for the sound, but hopefully it's all right. Yeah. Good. It was, it was slinging it all in my face, so I thought I'd be safe with this one. I don't know about safer, it's less painful isn't it? I couldn't see the thing. <laughs> Rob CP's in. Hello Rob. See, that's a name I didn't call out. Welcome to you all. This is quite a tricky piece of oak that uh, Andy's trying to make into a bowl or a large platter of sorts. Not quite sure what it's going to be yet. Nothing nor am I really. Yeah, Oliver place. Reed is in. I think that's one of Tom. One of Tom's friends, I think, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Welcome to you all.
the very hard bit of this, on this, you can hear it. Mm. Barry's in. The... Would, would turn in by Barry. Hello, Barry. Terry, Terry's in. Terry, PJ. Oh, Terry. Hello, Terry. This, this tool's cutting rather nicely. Obviously did a good job of sharpening it. For those of the, you that haven't seen it, Wayne's back live Wednesday, uh, Friday lunchtime. I see a message on on the tubes earlier on. Yes, I saw that, yeah. Uh, I'm sure everybody's heaving a communal sigh of relief. Uh, Douglas, I believe that they were drilled on the drill press with the right size force and a bit. Sorry? Douglas has asked, how were the mountain holes made? And I uh, believe... it, yeah. Initially, it was drilled on the, on the drill press, you're quite right, the one on, mm -hmm. on, the, on the other side. Then I turned the back off just to make it flat and turned this one, turned it round and put, it, put a, a chamfer on the, on, the, on the one on the other side so that they're both right. dovetailed. Mm -hmm. So just because I had the time and I was mucking about with it anyway, I thought that made sense. Andrew is yeah. in from YV Woodshed. Hello, Andrew. Wendy is in from Turnfish. Hello, Wendy. So we've got a good, good crowd in tonight. You've got 33 watching. That's not bad for the first five minutes. Excuse me. Yeah, you can all see the beauty of the wood now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that bit is the bit that's knocking. Yeah, it's the hard bit, yep. Yeah. Here, yeah. Mm. Well, uh, that camera's moved, isn't it? Uh, Linnykins is in. Hi, kiddo. Hello, Linnykins. Right. Yes, this is behaving quite strangely. You can you can probably hear it as well. It's yes, always bouncing. Yeah. yeah. The uh, trick to this one is don't press too hard. Just float yeah. the bevel if you can. Yep. Yeah. And this is a slightly heavier tool. It's this it's much better with this one than with the one I started with. You can, you can actually see shavings coming off it now. Yeah, it's not so aggressive in my ear either. No, that's right. Douglas is on the promo section. Um, please press the thumbs up and show Andy and Keith what, that they are doing a good job. Thank, Thank you, Douglas. Douglas. Now I'm planning to have a a reasonably wide rim, but not 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 vast. I'm not painting it or anything. For obvious Martin reasons. Shepherd's in. Hello, Martin. Another club member. See, um, then the grain is amazing. The lighter section that you can see is where it started to um, decay, for want of a better word. So the the yes, brown the, section through the middle is the solid wood, and the yep. yeah the light bits are where it's starting to decay but it's yeah. still solid mostly solid yeah some of it was a bit splintery i did go over it with super glue before i started mm -hmm. it's tearing it's tearing out there i don't you probably can't see it but it's tearing out just there right um so I, i'll i'll go back over that obviously it's not it's not to shape yet but yeah it's end grain so yeah what more can you expect mm, good yeah, pulls in I Hello, think Paul. he was in early, but I don't think I called him out. Ah.
Ken. Hi Steve. Feels more like turning off set. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's hammered away. Eric Winkler's joined us. Hello, Eric. Use another one because it's getting hot, that one. Burning my fingers. It's the first time I've ever used this tool, so... That's that really carbon, carbon yeah. steel tool. So. That will lose its edge a bit quicker. Yeah. Lula Trask is in. Oh, that's... Uh, yes, Lucy. That's Lucy, Rob yeah. Robin's partner. Right. Oh, they, looks like they've got a watch party set up then. They're all watching <laughs> together. Yeah. So the bottle will be out later on then. Martin, the uh, timber is, is out. You'd actually recognise it as such. And Wayne's you saying to you, move your tool rest so you're closer. Yep. I was just thinking that. I'm not doing too much more up the top there, but I will, I will do. Yes, Wayne. Swing it across the corner. Yep. That's it. I'm with it. Why you said that because I was just thinking exactly the same thing. Well, I was reading the chat, so I wasn't really watching what you were doing then. No, very wise. Rob CP, the flank is 16 inches as near as damn it by two inches. It's the maximum that Andy can get up with the really swinging the head that round. Must be 16 inches because they're all answering. How about that then? Sorry, what? <laughs> it must be 16 inches because... Uh, they're all answering that it's 16 inches. <laughs> yeah, 16, that's right. I, I said 14 originally, but I changed it. Yeah. Because it was Adam's 16. In. I, love Adam, I love wood turning Adam's in. I Hello, Adam. Adam. He likes a challenge. He mm. likes this. Uh, yeah, I thought, what am I going to do? I think that's enough for the... I'll take a bit more off to, to get it a bit more straight, but um, that's about the thickness I want to end up with at the top. Does it give me a chance to do something on the other side? In fact, that's don't, certainly don't want to go any further. Good. Right. Let's take a bit more off here. Move the tool rest again. Got it hit away. Peter, the park wood turners in. Good evening, Peter. Hello, Hello Peter. Brown. 
little dark colouring of those. The monitors and the lights are playing up a little bit. But it is, it is an un, un, go on. Sorry, go on. Go on. It is an unusual colour for oak. Yeah. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have identified it as oak originally. Wayne just Sorry. said it's uh, it's got to be the nicest piece piece of oak he's seen in a long time. It's quite gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, mm, yeah. yeah. I should ho hopefully, I should do it justice. It's very, very Better. rough there. <laughs> I'm going to give you a good slap in, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, promises, promises. <laughs> if that's okay with Alison. She won't mind. She's still in the chat, so she's not not nodded off yet. <laughs> It's a piece of oak that I can't remember where I got it from because I donated it to Andy. Um, it's been in the workshop a couple of years. I have managed to get three, if not four, small pieces out of it. So um, I've turned a small piece of this before, but Andy's fortunate enough to get the big piece. Allison's saying, I can do what I like to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to see, loving, caring wife. Mm. Mm. I've got much light over this side. Eric, have you managed to sort out your sound? Everyone else is here and everything. So it must be you that's uh, gone deaf. Copper Owl is Rob. I can never, never remember yeah, that. Yeah. I'm, l I'm lousy at names anyway. I remember because I asked him earlier today. You did. But that's still long enough for, for me to forget. <laughs> it's an art form, Keith. It, it, it must be. <laughs> I'm going to have to put more light on this, I think. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. As okay, long as you it? can see, we can, mm. uh, we'll struggle. We can see the backside of it. So we can I, see I, what I, the... see, I see ridges up there, but I couldn't see where they were down here. Uh-huh. But I can see him now. That's better. I think that's getting somewhere near the shape I wanted. It's not particularly smooth yet, but it's getting there. Ooh, nice ben Jamin's in. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Normally I'd have a foot on something like this, but I don't think I'm going to on this. Nope. It's no, not going to help. Just make it a flat fall. base. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all it's going to be. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't need anything else. I'm going to try and flatten this out. I've got some very strange tool marks in there from where it's bouncing. Nice, delicate cut. Wendy, it's Robert. I can remember that one. Robert and Harry. Oh, Hodge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at that. Bit of a line there. Bigger line there. Strange, it's putting lines around that side, but not around this side. I don't know why, it's not moving.
everything is. Yeah, I thought so. That's actually does that matter? No, because it'll sit on the middle there, won't it? That's no, pushing me luck. It's nowhere near flat. Nowhere near. Take so it I down think, a bit and recut the base. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm better. Mm. It's too far out to uh, to leave it. Good job I thought about it. I was just checking it was hollow. It's far from it. Fuming is using um, ammonia on there to uh, darken the wood, depending on the wood and how much tannin is in the wood as to how dark the actual fuming will take it. You can uh, get quite subtle um, greys on ash and you can get reasonably dark greys on oak and robin's joined us as well mate robin gilks oh hello robin gilks yeah we both, we both know robin and the beard's just dropped in that's better except it's very rough apart from that it's fine Looks like you've got 44 in watching you. Excellent. Just really pleased with that. Yeah, yeah Robin, you could fit one of these on your lathe. He's got the same lathe as I have. Same. It's his new lathe. That's better. That's much, much, much better. Just yeah, to get rid of that. Um, answer to Martin Colwyn, why he used to put turkey poop around the bottom of oak boards to get them what he called tiger oak. Well, um, turkey poop is basically ammonia anyway. Yeah. So Brian's just dropped in, has he? Um, yeah, Brian. Hello, Brian. Hartwood. Hello, Brian. Cat on StreamYard is jumping quite a bit, so if I miss anyone, apologies, just to drop in again. No, Douglas. Never tried them. They might need to be fresh. What's that? And Douglas is asking if cow pats would do the same. Don't think cow pats contain uh, ammonia. 
I did try cow fats on a tin roof one time. They wanted moss to grow. Yeah. So we stuck some cow pats up there. It was either that or yogurt. Cow pats were cheaper, mm -hmm. and it didn't make any difference at all. It took 10 years before there was anything growing on it. But hey, thought was there. Mm. Right, now that's beginning to take shape. Just put a few lines around to make it look deliberate. So, and sand it. If I can find all the bits that I need. Like it's a good job you covered up your keyboard tonight. Yes, <laughs> it's flying all over the place from this. I suppose the peripheral speed's quite fast, isn't it? Off the edge, yeah. Mm. That's right. I have got a reserve battery, fortunately. Right then. I'm suggesting cold tea or crushed iron tablets in water for staining. All right, yeah. Coffee works as well. Depends on the, on the wood. So the, the colour you get out of any of these. Does it turn it on, Andy? Yep. <laughs> it's close. Malcolm Douglas has just uh, dropped in and Martin's dropping out. He's got to go and get dinner sorted. Has to be done. Mm. There was something wrong. You need to get open the gas, dust gate. Yeah, I was using it on the band saw. Mm -hmm. That's better. That might make a difference. So, are you sanding in forward or reverse? Well, me or the, I mean, the drill or the lathe? No, the lathe. Is the lathe running forward or reverse? Forward. You might be better off using the bottom half of the Indian Arbor rather than the top half. It won't pull it out of your hand quite so much. I tend to reverse it from time to time anyway, just to, mm. when it starts ripping the gearbox apart. Because it's, it's probably with the, with the cordless, you can hear it doing it. Andy Lanelli, Osh Firewood Green, is in. Clinically. <laughs> right. <laughs> I knew I could muller someone's name tonight. Yeah, sorry, make sure, Andy, you, spit, has, make sure, you, make sure you spit when you do it. Yeah, well, I've <laughs> never been any good at well. Nice. There's a knack to it. I have problems with English at times, let alone any other <laughs> degree of it. That's better. With the drill in reverse, it works quite well. Mm -hmm. I'm not using the top half. It's just more comfortable. Right. Well, you're half an hour in, and you've got 42 watching. Okay, so all's well with the world. Mm. I thought something better, was coming better with the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I could hear something coming loose, but I couldn't see what it was. There's an awful lot of it, isn't there? There is when you're only uh, used to really doing a lot of spindle work, which Andy is. Well, that's his preference, spindle work. Primarily, yep, it is. Yeah. So this is a little bit new for him. And yeah, check setting, but found nothing out of whack. Um, don't know whether there's anyone in the chat that can suggest what um, Eric's doing wrong so that he can hear us. It's obviously something he's turned off on the computer or whatever he's using because the sound is coming through for everyone else. The bottom right of your screen, there should be a little um, gizmo which looks like a speaker with three, three little curved lines in front of it. Click on that and that'll tell you what you've got switched on. Just there. Everyone's trying to help Eric uh, sort it out. Thanks, guys. I think that'll do for that one. That's a very soft bit just there. I can mm -hmm. feel it's actually slightly hollow, which the sanding has done. And another bit there. It's all the white stuff. But I don't think I'm going to worry. The, yeah, it's on nope. the end, on the side grain, so it's going to be softer there. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it, unduly. I think that'll do for that one. Mm -hmm. A little bit further on, and then I can Yorkshire grit. Uh, Sanding seal it and Yorkshire grit it, mm -hmm. which will be jolly exciting. Steve C's in. Hi, Steve. Pull your mic down a bit. Sorry. Pull your mic down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a steam engine. Yeah, it sounds like a steam engine in there. I could, actually, I could take this head. 
would face mask off for now. Oh, that's better. Nice when it comes off. Mm. That should help things. It gets a bit echoey in there, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, if anyone had thought you'd done about 10 miles. Yeah. Right, that's that. Now you've knocked the camera. I have, haven't I? I saw myself do it. They're all sheen from the uh, from the light reflecting on there, so uh, yes, it's it should, it's, it's, should it's polish up well. It's quite shiny because it's it's it is. I mean, it's very very hard that bit. Right, well, excuse me, mop myself down. That's better. Okay, right now then. Hello. What that was. Something, something just dropped. Mm -hmm. Is the other camera gone? Give the compressor a chance to uh, charge up. Because I turned it off earlier, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your good wife says you sounded like Darth Vader. <laughs> That's the nicest thing she's ever said to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right then. And Eric saying no colouring on that piece. Definitely not, Eric. Do you think so? Mm. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. Yep. Right, so now then. Um... Greg Alexander's just joined us. Mm -hmm. uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't matter which one really, does it? Cellulose sending sealant. There it is. Oh, phone's ringing. Yeah, it's not me. No. <laughs> Alison will get it. No, I'm going to bring it. the colour out. Well, I'm going to do it standing still, I think. Gary, why? Have you just dropped in? Have I missed you? Coming in? See, the chat is very jumpy tonight. Um, uh, apologies if I miss someone. Mark at the Garden Workshop. Yeah, and he's saying Mike Walt would colour that in a heartbeat. I bet. <laughs> Edward. Yeah. Don't think you need colouring on that. No, Ed Oliver might, but... You might want to tone it down rather than colour it. Yeah. It looks quite it's, bright it's, as it is. <laughs> it's quite striking, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's that's lovely. I don't know. Make much difference when I turn it around. I mean, look at that lot up the top there. Absolutely mm. unbelievable. Yeah, fabulous. Nature at its best. Yep. Right. Let that dry a bit. I could rub off the excess, couldn't I? Yes, these are all one off pieces, Eric. Um, you never see the same grain twice. On a piece like this. Clive Rogerson's just joined us. Evening, Andy, Keith and all. Good evening. Tis pleased we are to see you. Mm. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. It's stuck. Yeah, the Yorkie would take that off, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
It's only a few bits. So Joe's cabin is asking if it's white oak. Um, I believe not, it's a turkey oak. Not very is, white, I would say. No, <laughs> which is a normal um, rubbishy old crossbreed oak. But uh, it's starting to decay, which is the white pieces. Hmm. As I say, so much so it's almost unrecognisable as oak. You might just recognise it down the middle there. Yeah. But, um, but almost unrecognisable. Yeah, it's fabulous. Absolutely lovely. Thank you very much for this, Keith. Well, you've got to do it justice. Oh, it's not plugged in. We'll forget that. I was going to use the hair dryer, but we'll forget that. It's nearly dry. Shouldn't take long to dry tonight. No, no it's nearly a little bit there. Mm -hmm. That's all. And then I can get my Yorkshire grit out. There's quite a heap of shavings on the floor. Well, considering you're usually only doing spindle stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to it. No. Having made the table, I might as well use it. Oh, dear. Yeah, it just wild. shows what can be under the bark. Yeah, exactly, Douglas. Open the door. The light's dropped down a bit now. It's not, not so distracting. It's not made any difference to us. Good. That's all right, then. It'll make a difference for me. <laughs> No, Robert, I've said Andy can do what he likes with it as long as he doesn't uh, trash it. I don't want it back. That's probably just as well. Mm. <laughs> I think Alison might like this one indoors. I think she probably will, yeah. It's, yeah. it's quite... Well, I will anyway. Yeah, it's the first big one you've done and it's, uh, like it is, say, it's... a stunning piece of wood as well. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, yeah. I know we go on about the wood, but uh, the wood yeah, makes it a lot of the time. We are wood turners. A yeah. lot of what it's about for me, yeah, mm. is, is seeing the secrets locked up inside and yeah. making, the most, making the most of them. Uncovering the beauty of the natural thing. Yeah. And this is, this is certainly beautiful. Right, that's that. We'll give that a bit of a rub up. It certainly won't be a salad bowl. Adam, it might end up as a fruit bowl. I do hope not. I don't do salad. But no. <laughs> no, yeah, fruit. I do, I do fruit. Waste of time, salad. You're hungry as soon as you've uh, it's got to your mouth. <laughs> no, Douglas is saying man could not do better with all their technology. No, you couldn't. You couldn't you couldn't plan colour like that. No, you couldn't invent it, no, no. 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 And it's it's I mean it's gorgeous in its so it's, it's such randomness really. Mm. Yep. No two no two bits are the same. Well you're not gonna get another bit like it. No, no. Because I think the last bit is for me that I've got. Yeah. I don't blame you. Mm. I think it's very kind of you to give me this bit. Well, you were sort of wimping the other night, last Thursday, when Rich was on. <laughs> no, you, would I wimp? You, you needed something <laughs> big to, to turn, so I thought, well, I'll fix that. <laughs> yeah, and you certainly <laughs> did. And so I had to take it down by about six mil to get it on the lathe. Mm. To get it on straight, straight, I mean. Yeah. That was a good invade last week for, that Rich did. I'm not sure was, whether he's... he's still in. He was in earlier on. He seems to be seemed to be quite pleased with it, but he was going away in his caravan, wasn't he? Yeah. Which is yeah. why he couldn't do this tonight. So he volunteered you, which is Yeah. Which, which was, was good very, of him. Very yeah. pleased about. Yeah. Yeah. Delighted to do it. Still a bit coming off it. Push your speed up a bit, mate. Not too much. That's 380. Is that all? Mm. Yeah, 
it's quite slow. Well, it's not slow around the outside. I can do a bit more. No. 400, 470, 500, 500. Let's try that. Getting a nice bit of shine to it. Don't know, Douglas. Um, I inherited it as a plank. So there's no provenance. No, I don't even know where it came from. But we know where it's going. Well, I think I do. Know, I think I can remember where it came from. But I can't guarantee. I think it come off of Warnham Park Estate. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. When I cleared some of the wood off of a a, a job I was doing for them, but I'm not absolutely certain. Knowing that's where I found, if if that's where I found it, it wouldn't have travelled very far. Because they had a few oak trees came down in the big storm in 1980, whatever it was, didn't they? Yeah, 78, Still, was it? 70, yeah, that's right, sitting around for quite some time. So this is one piece that I don't know the provenance of. Almost a shame. Right. Take the glasses off, cool myself down a bit. That's better. Look at that shine. Mm. Looking good. That's just right. off Yorkshire Grit, is it? Yeah, that's just off Yorkshire Grit. Microphone next. All this stuff comes out a lot easier than when it's this weather, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, almost too easy. Yeah. Push on it and it sinks. In the winter, it's quite hard to get it out sometimes. What you can do, Andy, on this one is run it in reverse. Mm -hmm. um, I find sometimes it helps on grain like this because you're attacking it from the other side of the grain. Yeah, I meant to do that when I was sanding and I forgot. But mm. yeah, now I've, now I've fixed my chuck. I can go in reverse without any worries. It won't come flying off. No, which is always a, a nice thought. Right, so in reverse, here we go then. I just got to remember it's going that way. <laughs> just work off the top rather than the bottom. Mm, yeah, you just get so used to it, don't you? Adam, you can use micro the, the microfine on both wood and resin. I think yeah. it was originally designed for resin more, but uh, it does just give the final finish on wood as well. Takes it to effectively, was it 2,000 grit? 2,000, like yeah, the equivalent yeah, of 2,000 yeah. grit. Which is pretty damn fine. It's finer than what you'd want to sand for, because you just an, end up with flour up your nose all the time. <laughs> that is the beauty of wet sanding. Yeah, I always used to sand to 600, mm. and, uh, and uh, yeah, you're right, it's very dusty. I bet SK, Steve S, SK Crafts wishes he could do this. What, in reverse? Yeah. Has, hasn't he got reverse on his? He hasn't, apparently. Oh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's not in tonight. Perhaps that's why. <laughs> He's jealous. <laughs> He's having, having a sulk because he's got no reverse. <laughs> If you're using um, the Yorkshire Grits, Adam, you can stop sanding at 240 and then uh, use Yorkshire Grit, the original in the black tub. That takes it up to equivalent of about 1,000. And then the micro crystalline, or the, the fine one in the white tub takes it up to about 2,000. Microphone abrasive paste. Yeah, yep. takes it up I must to admit, about 2,000. I, I, I tend to sand mine to about 400, um, only because that's the habit I've got into. And then, then the uh, the Yorkshire Grit takes it down very nicely from there. But I could stop earlier. 
because this really does work, doesn't it? Right, then that's that. Can you use oil after Yorkshire grit? Yes, only, you can. <laughs> only if you clean it with meth meths or something. Yes, yeah, take the um, take it back with meths. Oh, Wayne's the best one to speak to on this because he quite often does that. Still feels a little bit, little bit sticky, but it's it's the the weather, isn't it? It's the heat, yeah. Just buff it up with a very completely clean cloth because we don't mind wasting. That's lovely. That is gorgeous. Right, can't stand here admiring it all day. Oh, you can, but you're fifty-two minutes in, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was all set for this to be a two a two nighter, but um, I don't think it needs to be now. Well, there's no one else on tonight, as far as I know, or as far as I'm aware. No, I'm not aware of anybody. <laughs> I wonder why it was dragging on the bed of the lathe then. Of course, it was too small. <clears throat> right. Martin at Woody's Creations, have you just dropped in or <laughs> have you been here before? I can't remember, but everyone's saying hi, Martin, so I'm guessing you might have just joined us. Yeah, mate, don't you? I can't, I can't remember now. No. Brain's going. It's me age. It's 49 watching at the moment. Don't forget you were in reverse. Not anymore. You are in reverse. <laughs> yeah. Right. God, yeah. You're not working up a sweat, are you? Only a bit. Eh? <laughs> Only a bit. Oh, that's too high. That's perfect. Uh, now then, I suppose I should work out how far the bowl's going to come, shouldn't I? Well, one pass across the rim first, just to true it up. Yeah, it's it's reasonably true because I do, I have actually done this side once. Right. But but, um, but yes, I can I can do one pass. Certainly doesn't want a lot off of it. Terry's just put in, um, don't forget Yorkshire Grit is not a finish. No, it's not a finish, but uh, with the heat in uh, Andy's workshop, um, we spoke about this beforehand, he's going to wax it afterwards when it cools down a bit. Quite often he'll buff it as well. I usually go with Carnuba in the end. Mm. I've got the... Um, Hampshire Sheen here, ready for it. 
Absolutely. There we are. Mm -hmm. That's what will be going on there, but it's it's too hot. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm trying to get rid of this bounce. Douglas is asking me if there's any tips in turning in reverse when he gets the graduate up and running because you turn outboard on the uh, graduate for big bowls. Um, you do, yeah. No, you just need to remember that the wood is going anti-clockwise outboard and you turn off the right-hand side of it rather than the left-hand side of it as Andy is doing now. And you could easily swing the head now and move the tool rest over and put it in reverse and turn. So it's just a matter of remembering which way the wood is going round. It only takes you a couple of minutes to realise that uh, where you're going. I quite often turn in reverse only because of the fat belly and uh, it's easier for me. You get it wrong the thing will just rub and get hot yeah yeah you just, you just get a bevel burnish all the time if uh, and you wonder why it's not cutting then you realize that uh, oh silly me relays in reverse oh i've got to turn off the other side <laughs> so there's no, no difference from turning inboard against outboard you see you usually have a left-hand thread on the outside on those don't they Yes, yes, so they don't unwind. That's the only it's one of the sense. disadvantages. They have got. A, they have two face plates, don't they? Uh, yeah. I think one's inch and a quarter and the other's inch and a half, isn't it? I can't remember now. It's too long ago. Mm. It's 50, year, yeah. 50 years ago I used to use one of those. Exactly. <laughs> I'm about the same. Oh, stop fidgeting. Richard is saying that the flute angle looks quite open. Um, I couldn't see it then as to quite where you, how about you're there. presenting it. Yeah, about uh, about five two, ten two. Ten two probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is about yeah. ten two. Yeah, it's it's whatever it needs to make it cut. To be honest, because this is this is very strange timber. It's misbehaving as much as it can. I'm, 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 I'm getting in to be in charge now. Almost feels if it's strange. bouncing it too up. much, um, crank the volume up a bit. Oh, that's split. That's a bloody great split in there. I just see that now, yeah. Damn and blast, it's actually a lump come out. Oh, oh, a bit of grain out, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, here's a, a V shape. Oh, poo. And it, the crack goes all the way. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it goes down to. There's a little bit there. It goes down to about here. Run a bit of super glue in it before you go any further. Yeah, and I might have to take three quarters of an inch off the diameter, I think. Uh, thin or medium? Uh, thin to start with. It, it depends. Well, it depends on the um, gap that you've got there. Thinner go in quicker. Yeah, yeah. Um, might be easy to take it off the light. No, I don't want to do that. Thin. Eric's got to go back to work, so he's going to pop in later on to see the finished product. Okay, lovely, good. Thanks for coming along. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that little bit of ply on there to catch anything that drips. And where's it gone? It's it right gone? down the bottom now. There it there. is. Yep. Yep. So if I pour it into there. So everyone can it's see it's nearly nine o'clock, according to Andy's time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm right under the camera, aren't I? Mm. 
And Mark sign medium for gap filling. Um, not sure there's a gap or it's just a split. There's a gap at the top, but it's a split. A gap at the mostly. top, yeah. But what I thought I'd do would be to put this in first. Do a little bit on the... I don't want to do it on the back, do I? Yes, I do. I can't see what you're doing because the camera's on the bottom half. No, sorry, right, yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, uh, just just popping a little bit on there just mm. to make sure. Just wipe the excess off the Yorkshire grip. And then I, I think... think in agreement with Rob, don't uh, don't reduce the diameter. Um, put a bit of filler in there. It's quite a big, it's quite a big gap. It's about four mil wide. Is it? Oh, it's deceptive. Yeah, yeah you mm -hmm. can't see it now because the camera's down a bit too low. Ooh. If I turn it's, and get the screen yeah, behind, you see that. Yeah. That's looking at the that. angle. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't, it's actually... doesn't look very wide at that angle. No, it, it, it's, I would think it's three to four mil. That's a shame. It is. I don't want to reduce the diameter, but it might be sensible. Right, I'm going to put, having put thin in to soak in, I'm now going to put a bit of medium over the top of it. On the principle that it's going to fill it a bit better. Terry's saying, bear in mind that you have a mortise, which could put the split under a little bit of tension. Yeah, although there's a solid lump of timber there. Mm. Well, David, there. David Deadman's got to go. Thanks, Dave, for stopping Thanks. by. Thanks for coming in. Catch yep. up later. Yep. Right, well, I think should glue it all back together. Put a smaller bowl in it, Andy, rather than maximise at the moment and see what happens. Yeah, okay. You might be able to uh, salvage some sawdust and put in there, particularly as it's um, well and truly coloured around there. Yes. Yes, that is a dark bit, fortunately. Well, I've sort of filled it with thick thick glue at the moment mm -hmm. so i haven't got any fine sawdust it all gets sucked away <laughs> this is this might do it that's a shame this We'll do this and see how it goes. If if it if it doesn't work, then we can we can always reduce it a little bit. Right, let that go off. That won't take many minutes. Yeah. I hadn't even seen the shape before at all. No, it sounded, uh, or it looks solid. Yeah, yeah. The other side's all right. It's just that one. Mm -hmm. Don't go any thinner then. No, no. I've got to take. There's got a machining mark round there, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll feather that from here. That will almost sand, won't it? It might do. Yeah, I, I can take a little bit with the tool, um, mm -hmm. working working from from there inwards. Right. Or well, before while that's going off, why don't you put an edge on the on the chisel? Uh, any, any particular one? Uh, yeah, that one. I think. <sighs> Talk amongst yourselves. Mm. I haven't got a camera out here yet, so I can't show you what I'm doing. Well, you're sharpening it. We know what you're doing. Yeah, you'll have to trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, it's all set up because I was doing it earlier. Right, okay.
That feels better. Good old Mr. Tormek. Mm. Well, Robert's saying before you decide on the uh, on the hollow end, decide on the on the rim width that would look good with or without the crack if you have to reduce it, which is what I was trying to say just now. Decide where you need the the bowl yes, to yeah, be. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have a pencil here, ready. It can be go. wider. It can be narrower than what you really wanted it. Yeah, what I was planning for originally was somewhere around an inch or just over inch and a quarter. Mm -hmm. But I think I can probably go a bit bigger than that without yeah, any wider rim. Yeah. yeah, two inch ring, perhaps. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, I don't think that do would it. hurt. Do it, won't it? Something like that. If you can see that line, yes, you can. Yeah, and then I can start hollowing from there. Let this lot go off properly. Mm -hmm. And we'll take it from there. Okay, let's see how this chisel does. This gouge does. Oh, that's bouncing nicely. So it would probably help if I lock the lock something down. It's all rest in, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. That's done. That's it. Right. Let's try again. <laughs> Push the volume up a bit, mate. I don't know what you're running at at the moment. 776. But it was bouncing when I stopped and I increased. Oh, that's better now. Oh, that's, oh, that's vibrating all over the place. Unless I can go through it. I wouldn't want to go much more than 1,000 anyway. No, I'm on 1,200 at the moment. It's vibrating a bit, but uh, hopefully that will improve as I go along. I'll keep coming that way.
holding together? Yep, seems to be. I'm pleased to say. Yeah. If it's bouncing too much, drop the speed right down. You've got Ruby clearing as well at the moment, so uh, All right. behave Hello, yourself. Ruby. Yeah, hi, <laughs> Ruby. Right, that's where it starts to vibrate, which is about 800 now. So it is improving. Don't take too much out the very centre yet, Andy. Andy. No, no. So I've got that running smooth now, which which is progress. strange piece of wood to deal with mm -hmm. it's got some very hard bits and some very soft bits <laughs> stop whining and get on with it <laughs> i'm not i'm just commenting really <laughs> it, makes, it makes it more interesting Yes, we're all one big family, Ruby. Sorry? Sorry, right, Ruby says, my goodness, the whole family is here. <laughs> <laughs> we're all in it together. Absolutely. Can't complain about feeling unsupported, can you? No.
So how far are you down now? About an inch? Uh, probably. Since you're talking technical, I should get myself a ruler. Well, I would. I'm sure I put it back in here earlier. There it is. There it is. I got it. It's in the drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Along with everything else. Yes, about yeah, 25. An inch. An inch, yeah. An inch, yeah. yeah you were spot on. And I've got best part of two. To, well, no, I haven't been less than that. You'll be less than that now, won't you? Because you've got yeah, a mortise yeah, in the is. bottom. You don't yep, need to I've, go ultra thin. I've got my depth gauge set, so I can I can work it all out. Mm. Yeah, it's only, it's only about there, so about yeah. another half inch to go, probably. A couple of comments on there. Um, Richard yep. uh, RJK says, uh, we're all right behind you, Andy. Andy. Mostly in case it comes flying off. I was going to say, that's the safest place to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Peter Cochran says, uh, don't you dare turn that gorgeous piece of wood into a funnel. No, I won't do that, but I've got another split. Yeah? Yeah, up this side. Just, you probably can't see it. Just there. No. No, it's not a big one, but it's it's a split quite definitely. Okay. Put a bit of thin in there, then. You can't see Not that, can you? It. No, you no, can't see that. The light's bleached it out now completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put some thin in there. We've got some thin. Here it is. It is yes. oak. It is yeah. sporting. And I've um, released, I've released pressures all over the place. I should think doing this. Yeah. Yes, you've untensioned it. Yep. Well, that's running down there beautifully. It's just about the width of the rim, the rim, mm -hmm. little bit, little bit down under there, but not a lot. That should get it, I think. Well, with that split in both sides down the grain, I would be very dubious about going too thin yep. on that. Yeah, I'm not going. To, I'm not going any thinner on the. Um, Where's my tissue gone? On the rim. On the rim. Yeah, I would probably only go take another quarter of an inch out the bottom. So yep, you've got okay. plenty of meat in there. Yep. I've got to put some medium in there. That's 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 open. I can see right through it. Mm -hmm. So I'll put some medium in there, I think. Now that's gone off a bit. Oh, this is a shame, isn't it? Well, it's natural, isn't it? It is. It is entirely. It's natural. That's tick. That's medium. Don't tick. You can almost see this opening up. You can't plan for anything like this. No, no, no. You just have to deal with it when it arises, don't you? Yeah. Right, that's got some medium in there, which looks as though it's filling it a bit better. Well, if it's got to the bottom of it, that should stop it going any further. Yeah, yeah, it's gone right down to, into mm. to just, and I'll put it beyond actually slightly, just to make sure. Okay, hook. let's have a look at the other one. Let's see what that's doing. No, that seems to be staying. That's no worse at all. So that's encouraging. So I think I'll go down another couple of cuts and then get the shape I want. It's not quite there yet, but it's quite a lump there. So let's do a bit more.
a bit more there, I think. A little bit more. What you want to try and do is make each cut a finishing cut, just in case you can't go any further. Yeah. There's still quite a thickness of timber on that, so we're okay for that. Copper Owl Ruby is Rob, not Keith. I'm Keith. Question from Rob. Is it worth Andy sanding the rim now in case it warps? I was wondering after about that. doing the bowl part. still quite stiff it's not actually moving when i do that just just got that split down there. Mm. But, uh, that's actually gone quite thin there it's obviously not quite running true in fact it's probably distorted slightly hasn't it possibly yeah the tension's oh, in it released yeah, which yeah, is why yeah. it's cracked yeah, I think that's what it is, because this, this bit here is about, oh, two and a half mil. Thick. Right. Whereas around here, it's about four to five. So, you know, obviously something's on the move. I think I'm going to, I might as well sand the rim, I suppose. I've got, I've got a horrible tool mark there I'm going to have to get off. And that's on the thinnest part as well, isn't it? You might uh, be better no, off. No, not, not, not the, the thinnest bit's around there. All right, so you but, might um, be better doing it um, actually static with the lathe off. Get rid well, of that sand, mark. Sanding yeah, it. Yeah, sand it. I could do, yeah, I could do. Yeah, yeah. I because can you, see you've, got the, you've got the drill going, so. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. And then get on with the middle after. Because that's giving it some support, isn't it, at the moment? Yes, yeah. Radio. Um, we'll lock it in place. i will make life easier, and we'll find the sander. Mm -hmm. What everyone's got to realise is that Andy's not a bowl turner. He's done a few bowls, small bowls, nothing of this sort of size. So Never, it's all ever. a mm. bit of an experiment for him and uh, learning on the hoof, which I think so is very exciting. Uh, I love it. We're all sort of hoping that he doesn't uh, foul up. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> yeah, particularly with the grain that he's got. It, it is an interesting piece to turn, and mm. uh, for, for which I'm very grateful. I mean, I don't mind that at all. I'm, make, I'm not making excuses for him. Um, like I say, he's a, he's a spindle turner in preference to bowl. Yeah. But it's good to do both. Right, this is sanding off quite quickly. I can see that already. Ian, um, yes, you can extend the cables. What you need to do is to make sure that when you extend them, you go for the right um usb three USB three are the blue ones and it's blue colored if you look on the end of the usb connectors there's white which is the oldest one followed by black i believe and then yep. the blue which is the is the highest transfer rate so if you buy any cables um i get all mine through amazon uh, make sure that they're, they're usb 3s yeah they're then now talking end up with talk, any problems talking about a usb 4 now so yeah but was it 3.1 or something as well well, so something, well whatever the next one is but i don't mm. think they're available yet so not that i've seen anyway um, you also want to try and keep it as short as you can, but not 
ridiculously short, obviously. Hodges put in there, Roberts put in there. You start losing quality a bit when your cable gets around 20 foot. Um, yeah, yeah. You do lose a little bit of, of quality, but you can get to up there providing you don't downgrade on the cables. Yes, I was amazed the difference it made when I swapped mine over to USB 3s. It really did. Everything suddenly started working. Mm, Bit yeah. of a worry, really, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Now then, I'm going to just... Yeah, didn't want to buy a new before he checked. Right. Um, take Adam, a piece of... A, go on, you keep going. Take a piece of my Abranet, which arrived just the other day. I've never used it before. Wrap it around a cork block and do the edge. Oh, no, turn it off. Take... Take, take the lock and pin the lock off. <laughs> yeah. So um, Adam has got a question. Yorkshire grit again. When to use sanding sealer? Use sanding sealer before you put Yorkshire grit on. Let it dry and then put the Yorkshire grit on and work the Yorkshire grit into it. You apply Yorkshire grit if you can with the lathe static. Or stop and start it at as low a speed as you can on your lathe. A lot of lathes, the lowest is 45500. But if you can go slower, you can do, and it works. Once you've got it worked in, you can hear the grit actually working. It's quite gravelly to start with. As you work it in, it uh, it quietens down quite considerably once you yeah. get the noise gone you can then increase the speed so that uh, the beeswax and the waxes and everything else um blends in melts into the wood the sound is far and away the most useful thing yeah to know, to know when that it's doing its job and you can hear when it's done its job really i know um glenn says that it's worth sanding for about three minutes with Yorkshire grit. Buffy, yeah, you know, rubbing it in, yeah. Yeah, work it in so that it really does the work. Uh, I think a lot of the questions are being asked, answered on the chat, USB powered hub, so it should be okay. Um, Got lots of experts around, I'm sure. Yeah, three meter cables are fine. Um, I've got three meters on a lot of mine, no problem whatsoever. I've actually yeah, my got longest, um, four on some of them as well. My longest of three, I think, so. Mm. Adam's lowest speed is 35, which is fine. Um, put it on at that, work it in, and as you're working it in, you can increase the speed. Right, I can do the Yorkshire grit on this later. Mm -hmm. That's got it rubbed down anyway. Looks like radar's in. I might have missed you popping in radar. Sorry. Um, chat went wild just then. I can oh, I can give, give this give this some attention by hand. To be honest, mm -hmm. that, that that crack. I'm not too worried about it at this stage. It's going to take far too long to do anything more with it. Yeah. So that's that. Lily Kins is off to bed. She's not a late mortal, but she don't sleep very well either. All right. So she's up uh, up past nine o'clock off to bed. Yeah. Alice will probably be going fairly soon. <laughs> nine o'clock to her bedtime usually. She's still sitting there at the moment. Oh, she's on the phone. Because I can see her from here. Right. Keep, 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 keep tabs on her. Keep an eye on her. Right. Yeah. Bought a bundle of blanks on eBay and the guy bought Tell them from put some Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Sheen in the box as well. Freebies. That was a lucky one, Ian. Right, so let's get rid of this lump in the middle. Because I think I'm not going to muck about with that. I don't think it's, it's getting a bit fragile now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, you're the one closest to it. You can feel it and see it. We can't. We yeah, can no, see it, but we can't feel the flex. On discretion it. being discretion being the better part of something or other. Mm-hmm. Which 
Which tool shall I use? I've, got, I've still got that little one in here. Actually, I'll use this little one that came from you, Keith. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, try that one up. I sometimes find the smaller ones, quarter inch, 10 mil bowl gouges are a lot easier to use than a bigger one at times. Yeah. Take a smaller cut. I notice Wayne always finishes with a small one, doesn't he? Yep. Finishing cut. Pull your light down a bit more to the centre because you're right on the very top at the moment. Oh, this one. Yeah, just that's better. We yep. can see see that's the tool for me. now. Good. It's better for me as well. <laughs> yep. Loyal of them. Thank you very much, people. Can we just ask when before you disappear and as you go out, can you try and hit the thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed to Andy, please would you consider subscribing to him? Or subscribe to anyone else on the uh, chat tonight. If you Several of us have got our own uh, channels. said he's hit 200 subs today. Well done. I'm 26 away from 300 on my channel. Um, I'm two, what 220 or I think I'm 220 yeah. or something. You're 235 at the moment, Andy. Oh, is it? All right. Oh, it's gone up a bit. Won a couple today. Uh, yes, it was was 229 i think something i seem to remember mm. so i that. can i can win one or two and lose one or two so hey ho i'm not about numbers no no i'm about passing knowledge on to you guys no it's just interesting to watch mm. that's all i'm not i'm not i'm not chasing it i think scott put me off doing that from his experience, yeah, he yeah. Uh, he was he was chasing numbers, wasn't he? He was, yeah. And then sort of thought about it. Thought, what on earth am I doing? It's not what it's about. There were two or three of them that were uh, fighting each other, battling each other to uh, the first one to a thousand or first one to five hundred, whatever it was. And uh, yeah, it got the better of him in the end. And uh, that's when he changed channels. Yeah, and dumped, right. dumped the old channel and started from scratch. Yeah, because that isn't what it's about. No, no, it's nice to get the numbers. 
Nice to get the views, nice to get the uh, thumbs up, but... Uh, Appreciation and what have you, yeah, but that's not yeah. what it's about. No. I do it because I enjoy it. And I know Andy does it because he's enjoying it. He might not be enjoying it quite so much tonight. <laughs> it may not be obvious, but no, I do. I <laughs> do. <laughs> that's what it's all about. What if the okie mm. is what it's all about? I mean, you know, then we're yeah. in trouble, aren't we? Yep. Yes, Andy's checked his depth, Ruby. He's got um, a good half inch at the bottom. Stop it. Get in there. Yeah, if once I get rid of this lump, I can actually put my depth gauge on, which I've modified specially for this, so I've got to use it. Mm. Yes, there's a little bit of a story there I can uh, tell you about this depth gauge because the depth gauge is the one similar to what um, Wayne uses and it wouldn't fit underneath the blank because the blank is virtually touching the bed bars so um, and he's modified the depth gauge to fit around the bed bars rather than over them so uh, he feels obliged to use it <laughs> well it took, took me a long time this afternoon at least half an hour mm -hmm. is really where I could do with a bit more speed but... yeah because oh, the yeah. woods oh, work my, my word yes I'm up to 900 that'll do yeah <coughs> you finished before you started then yeah it's getting so hot let's go back to your one it's got green tape on so I recognise that <sighs> mm -hmm. if it's getting hot you're uh, over beveling it I'm not putting any undue pressure on it. I think I think it's just this timber. It's playing hard to get. There's a little bit of discussion about YouTube unsubscribing people that don't use it. Um, yes, I've oh, heard yeah. the same, but I have, I've also heard that they um, it's not an instant thing. They do leave it a fair time. before they inactivate your account. I think if you're using the account, um, there's one or two on there. <laughs> it's all using resources, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Lionel's just made it. Hello, Lionel. So you've you've missed some fun, eh, Lionel, but uh, we're still going. We still have the full size. Uh, it's been more below me, Jordan, I think. But we're, but we're there. Mm. We nearly lost the nib in the middle. I don't have to show off by catching it in the, in the uh, flute. I'm not even going to try. No. Uh, it's gone. God, I've got a load of shavings here. Eh? Yeah, now that was smooth earlier. That might just be the speed that's doing that. Oh, it could be. I've turned it up, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, See what it's like before you uh, attack it the other way. Rough. I can safely say that's rough. Too rough to sand? I think probably, yeah. I'm going to see what thickness I've got left. Because I can. That's, that's the only yeah. reason I need to do it at all. The modified uh, 
depth gauge. It doesn't look any nicer than it did before, but yes, Douglas, I'm okay. I just had a, a slight coughing fit. <laughs> right, now that tucks in there. <sighs> and we can't see what you're doing because the camera's too high. Right. Uh, um, right, so the camera let's... down, you can, uh, you can show off your new toy. Right, we've got that's that's the um, the, the depth gauge. Are you seasick? God. Sorry, yeah, I'm trying to get the light right and everything else right. There it is, and it's pointing straight to the middle. The end of that is is set that if it if these two bits of timber down here, which you can't see and I can't show you. No, I can't. Hang on to your dinner, everybody. <laughs> Yep, let's, um, let's try another camera. Oh, come on. Stop mucking about. All right, let's put that round to there. Switch that camera on. Right, you can now right, see, can see it. somewhat yep. in the distance, but if I move that to there, that'll be a bit better. Right, there we are. Lift it a fraction so, so we can see the top as well. That's better. Come on, sort of. Off. Oh. Yeah. God. That camera's falling off. That's better. Right. Okay. Now then. Yeah. Sort of. Lift that up a bit to there. There we are. Right. There's the bell. This is the bit we're sliding. Hits the timber there. The distance in here. It's the amount of timber that's left. It's actually not as much as I thought. It's about, I would say, eight or nine mil, which is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go any further. That's that's, that's quite quite far enough. <laughs> oh, I think it's sanding time then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's significantly more timber around here, but that's fine. I want to leave that because it'll give it some strength. So, you know, around this, you can see here, that, that, that bit there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's significantly thicker. I'm not even going to bother trying to measure it because it's not of any relevance. It's it's the thickness it is, and it's going to stay that way. Right, now let's see if we can get the cameras back through. I'm going to bump into that one. And we'll switch to, oh, is it Tailstock 2, wasn't it? Yep. Right, right, we're nearly back to normal now. Whoops, no, we're not. No, we're all over the place again. <laughs> Apart from that. Apart from that, Mark we're fine. The garden workshop's got to go. Thanks, Andy and Keith, got to go. But we'll definitely be watching back to see the finished <laughs> bowl. Yep. yep. There will be something to see, mm. I hope. Yeah, right, well, so. You're hour and three quarters in, but, I mean, there's no one else on tonight. So, uh, no, no, so. just do what it needs. Do what you need to. That's what I need to take out. That's it. Right, okay. I'm just going to try and get rid of that pip in the middle, which is a huge pip. Mm-hmm. And then see what I can do in terms of smoothing it a bit. I'm going to pop that inside a little bit, which will help me. Right, okay, there. And we'll use, yeah, that one's quite a nice one. We'll use that. Robert Dolman's off as well. He's got to go. Okay, Thanks, Robert. bye, Robert. Thanks, everyone, that's uh, hung on in. Then a little bit of a baptism of fire for Andy tonight. Yeah, but wouldn't have it any other way. No. Once you're in a position to uh, relocate the camera, perhaps you could put it so that we can see. Oh, details, details. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. flopped over. It's yeah. fallen over. Come on, stop mucking about. Right, that's better. Mm -hmm. It's a bit on the bright side, isn't it? So, no, anyway, we can that's, see okay. Yeah. That's, that's, I understand that now. That's, that's yep. reasonably, good. reasonably smooth and it should get rid of those machine tooling marks. 
Because <laughs> I'd like to just get some sanding sealants at least on that, um, just to sort of show off, show it off a bit. Show off tonight. the colour, yeah, yeah. And oh, then, and then, your time. And then I can finish it off at my leisure. The last filling little bits and put it up on on whatever it goes up on Facebook or wherever. Yeah, go up on Facebook. Yeah, it will do. Right, Share okay. it around. Uh, I'll do it. Be static. I was, I was just, I was just, to get rid of I was just tossing that up in my mind. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to turn the lathe off so I don't try and start it up with that in there, which is not a good idea. Right. Okay. Extractor. Sorry? Extractor. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. All these little luxuries. Got to use yeah. them. That's it. I know it's on because I just heard it fire up. <laughs> this sounds quite nicely when it's static actually mm. see the machining marks going I don't think the wood's quite as hard as what maybe it sounded I think it was it, because it was bouncing. It was that it yeah, sounded it's, harder. It's, it's it's not so much that it's extra hard; it's the hard soft bit. Mm. You know, you're, you're you're sanding through hard stuff, and then suddenly you're hitting soft stuff, and it it just goes all over the place. But um, but it's very satisfying when you get the finish like we got on the back of it. Oh, it'll be gorgeous when you do it. Andy, can you tell us what position the flute is at as you cut? It's about um, either 10 to, 10 to 5 to or 5 past, 10 past, yeah. depending which way you're cutting. So oh, in that top, yeah. Yeah, it's never pointing out directly open at 12 o'clock. Um, no, that's scraping then. Yeah, you're better off starting at um, quarter two or quarter past with the, the flute right over and open it until you get a cut. Um, it's a lot easier that way than going in with it to open and uh, you just stab in a bit of metal at flying wood. Yeah, it's just rubbing the bevel and getting it cutting, isn't it? Mm. Is what it's yeah. all about. Scraping's all very well, but so far I've managed to avoid using it on this. And I think that's possibly a wise decision. Yes. Seeing that yes. The, it's soft and hard. Yeah, yeah. Although I do find the Simon Hope ones are very good for that, because they're so heavy. Mm. They don't bounce like a, a smaller scraper does. Right, I'm just going to spin that a little bit. If I take the locking pin out and switch it back on again and turn the speed down a little bit to get a final cut I struggled during the last bowl to get a final cut um, you're saying it was 5 inches deep by 12 inches wide um, <laughs> Are you variable speed, Adam, or is it f um, fixed speed? I believe you're variable speed. If you're variable speed, what you can do is uh, reduce the speed to see if you get a better cut and not put too much weight on the bevel so that the bevel's just kissing it rather than burnishing it. I think that's what you were asking, but uh, like I say, the, the chat goes wild and then I lose it off the screen. <coughs> One more, 320. 
Try it both ways, Adam. Turn the speed up, turn the speed down. Um, wood being flexible and still living, even though it's dry, it's moving. This this has moved quite a bit. Um, you never know quite what is the best speed. I'm just doing a bit of reverse sanding now. Yeah. Just to catch any fibers that are coming up that way. Oh, I think that's telling me it's time to stop. Let's have a look. Barry's saying Ooh, he did oh, a no. three three five by thirty five today, Adam, so did you record it? Yes, you're getting a lot of comments on the, uh, the grain. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? The grain is making this piece. It is, yeah, the turning certainly isn't. That's better. That's better. So it's a bit there I wasn't happy with. But it's now lovely. I should get rid of this. Just do a little bit by hand. And then put the sanding sealant on it. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the last the 240 is worth doing by uh, hand. I quite often do that in forward and reverse yeah. as I can. Yeah. 320, 240 here it is. I'll just spin it briefly. Uh, no, it's not a crotch, Adam. No, thank, thank goodness. That would be one complication too many. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, just a plank. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Cellulose lacquer? Where's it gone? It's over there. Melamine gloss, ebonizing, cellulose, here it is. Mm. Now everyone can watch it come to life. <laughs> That's right, yeah, this is the exciting bit. Mm. I'll stick that on there. Keep the worst of it off the bed, lathe, lathe bed. Right, here we go then. Oh, might just get the worst of the dust off. It's not too bad, but. Okay. Doesn't that just pop? Mm, gorgeous. There's an awful lot of it when you start putting this on, isn't it? <laughs> Don't I overload it. No, it's coming out quite thinly, but um, there we are. That's that. Let it dry. The amazing grain, um, Adam, is because the white is where the wood has started to decay. So the brown is the proper colour, the brown, maroon, whatever you want to call it, is the proper colour. But uh, yeah, this, the this white bit in the middle, the middle here, yeah, mm. yeah, and, and on the top as it sits there, yeah, and, right uh, the, there, the yeah. white is um, as it's starting to decay right down. It's drying quite nicely. Get some Yorkie grit on there. Mm. 
Alison's actually stopping up to watch you finish this, mate. Oh, really? Mm. So, so she is. She says you're amazing, or is that the wood? <laughs> it, it must be the wood. It can't be me. I couldn't cope with a com compliment like that. Oh, God. But, uh, <laughs> that would be too much. Yeah. And uh, Rob over in Copper Owl says uh, he has a chestnut tree his ne nephew has cut down and he's going to rough to do some rough turning. Um, mm -hmm. Sweet chestnut or horse chestnut? I would imagine it's sweet chestnut. But, um, you can turn that wet and you can turn it thin and it's quite nice. And that's what it looks like if you do, if you colour it. That's ho that's um that's sweet sweet chestnut. That's sweet chestnut. Yeah, I would yeah. imagine um it's horse chestnut that cop uh, Rob's got. All oh, right, okay. Um, Fair sorry, enough. did I get that round the wrong way? You did, you did. Yeah. But don't worry yeah, about quite it. Quite possible, <laughs> but uh, something to do with the age. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Right. Horse, okay. Horse chestnut turns quite well wet. It also, depending whether it's sporting at all, whether it's picked up any colour, um, it does pick up colour from the ground as well. So you might find that there's some browns in there as well because it is a fairly bland wood on its own. But you can get some nice colour to it. You can also um, cut it up into blanks, Rob, and um, plastic bag it. That will stop it or det slow down the cracking. But it, uh, if you put some soil in there as well, you could uh, possibly get it to sport. So cut it bigger than what you want it put it in a black plastic bag throw in some soil some leaves dried leaves and uh, chuck it away for three or four months and then check on it and see what's happening you can force it to sport that way and you've got some nice comments in there mate Oh, good. Lovely. Well, we're nearly there. The, uh, the colour. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really yeah. is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. We're very nearly finished now. Yeah. And Alison's come back with the amazing. Uh, she said she is indeed. And the bowl's amazing as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? What does she want? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. She knows I'm listening. I know she's yeah. listening. Yeah. Um, you don't need anchor seal, Rob. Just um, toss it in a bag. And keep an eye on it. It doesn't matter whether it uh, stays a bit damp in there, which it will do, um, but it does sport nice. And depending on what leaves you put in, what fungal spore you put in as to how much the, uh, the sport and the colour will change. And apparently when you finish that, um, it's going on the dining table, mate. Oh, is it? Right, okay. You've been, you've been told. You've been warned. <laughs> replace, replace the one we got as a wedding, uh, 25th, 25th wedding anniversary present. We got one from a friend of mine who's a woodturner. Right. So to replace that. It'd be nice to have one of mine indoors. Hmm. I usually sell most of them. They stay in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it, I must say, it's, it's the making of it that I really like. Well, you can say it's mine, can't you? Yeah, and absolutely. I've done it. Yeah, and I'm I've very proud it. of it. When I, when I go down to the village market and sit there with the people I know from around the village coming in and admiring my work, and, and that's fantastic. Just superb. I love it. Feather in the cap bit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
Right, well, I think I'm going to take that off the lathe and show it to everybody because I'm actually reasonably proud of that. For my first attempt at anything large, yeah, it wants it wants the final polish. Obviously, it's not as shiny as it will be, but uh, can you see that? No, not at all. No. Okay, let's just try that one. Oh, there it is. See it now. Yeah. There we are. That's using the one we hadn't used so far. <laughs> And just I going mean that back to the chat quickly, mate, before it disappears off. Yeah. Um, mm. Just regarding the sporting, the sporting is a fungus. So just be careful afterwards, Rob. Um, Ruby's mentioned that. Robert's mentioned it, that he's got some logs standing on end, which are sporting nicely. Um, it's a contact with the ground and decomposing material that helps to make it start. It's the rotting process, isn't it, basically? And yeah. You have to catch it before yeah. it goes too far. Yeah, this one had which... nearly, nearly gone too far in a couple of places, but it's, mm. it's salvageable. There's the back of it, just to show you that as well. It's, I mean, it's just fantastic, isn't it? Look at that pattern. Absolutely couldn't make that super. one up, could you? No, you couldn't. couldn't. Make you that couldn't. One up. And if you were actually trying to design it, you certainly wouldn't leave that strip down the middle not done. No. But that adds, that adds something to it. I don't have a problem with that at all. I think that's absolutely lovely. Thank you for that, Keith. That's okay. My pleasure. Thank you for doing uh, justice to it. I'm sorry there was a couple of small cracks on there, but oh. I think you fixed that, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to give them a little bit more attention. No, it's no, it's off the lathe because where, where I filled it, it's a bit rough. I, I can just finish that off. I, I can do that. A little bit of hand sanding on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. A little bit more filling, and that'll be, that'll be perfect. Fortunately, it's, as you say, it's in a dark bit. Just, just you can't see where my feet. Oh, you can. Yeah, just, just there. about. Yeah, and and it's in that dark bit, so it won't actually show when I filled it, which is really quite nice. So, nope, that's absolutely lovely. And I say I'll get a decent shine on there. So it's not, it's not finished. It's only, it's only uh, Yorkshire gritted. So, uh, I've got the rest and to go can, on. But that... can, can we see it side on? You do get some awkward customers, don't you? Yeah, well, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's not quite an OG, but it's not far off it. So that's the profile so, of it. It's quite thin yeah. in one side, but it's a little bit fatter the other side where the wood's moved. But, um, Tiny bit, yeah. It's not it's not enough to notice actually. To be honest, now it's no. now I've rounded it rounded it slightly. It doesn't notice anywhere near as much as it did when no, it was we square. Can't, we can't see it at all. No, no, you can now. <laughs> but, um, but no, around around that that rim, um, yeah, it, it, it's really quite thin. It, it's probably from four mil now down to mm -hmm. about two, probably, maybe two over there. Well, mm. The comments two coming much. in are really good, mate. Three. Nice good. job, Lovely. well done. Excellent job. Nice piece of wood. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? It does. Get a piece, yeah, get a piece of timber like that. I mean, just look at it. You, you, I, I could sit and look at that for ages. You will do, probably. Because yeah. you've been locked out. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> I got a front door key in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. Anyhow, anyway, I think it's time to call that a day, isn't it? It's ten five past ten. Two hours. That's not too bad for a bowl that size. First time as well. First time, yep, yep. So, uh, so no, I'm wasn't quite pleased the, with that. Yeah, it wasn't the easiest turning. No, um, no, no, it wasn't. That wasn't. It wasn't cooperative timber at all. It, uh, I mean, it, it came out all right, but it wasn't cooperative. It was, no. it was playing hard to get. Mm -hmm. Alison's off. Night, Alison. Catch up with you good, somewhere, love. Good night, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh dear. Good. Adam okay, spent okay. almost as long as one of his lives. Well, I did a two-hour last week, was it? Yeah, I did a two-and-a-half last week, didn't I? You did a two-and-a-half, yeah. Time yeah. is not uh, an issue. Um, it takes what it takes. Hmm. You can and, race and these things and you can you can really screw things up. But if you're talking people through what you're doing, it takes a little bit longer anyway. But that's yeah. quite right and proper. That's what we should be doing. 
Yeah. And uh, and you get it only takes one thing to go wrong, and it takes more time, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, that, well, you that, spend uh, over five minutes with a bit of super glue on there, just getting it sorted that's, out. That's right. Yeah, and that's 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 what it's all about. You know, you, it's better if you have problems because people can see how you deal with them. Yes. Yeah. You know, don't have yes. a problem Those having that problems. Don't have problems aren't really wood turners, are they? At times. Well, if you've never dealt with a problem, you'd be, you don't know what can go wrong. So, no. No. So, yeah. So anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along. And uh, I don't know how many are still here, but I've, I've, I've lost me, lost me, lost me cursor. Now there it is. Twenty eight still watching. Still watching. Yeah, that is yeah. that is quite amazing. Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, have a nice night. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all, and good night. And you've got Scott on Thursday night. Yep. Uh, I believe I'm doing next Tuesday, is it? The 15th, yep, you're doing that. And then I'm doing the 17th and 22nd. Which is the Thursday, so Thursday Andy's doing and the next two Thursdays. The, no, next Thursday, Thursday. And, Thursday and then yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, and then you're doing the next Thursday and Tuesday. Yeah, and Wayne's 20. doing Friday lunchtime. He's coming back in, apparently. Yep, um, I saw that. Today. Don't know yeah. who else is on. Um, Wayne's on tomorrow night, Wednesday night. It's Wayne's yep. night. Mm -hmm. But who else is on? I haven't got a clue. So let me pull you back in. Uh, that one. So I'm still dressed. So you're okay. And I'll put me in there. There we are. Right. All right. Comes Co center of that in, bit. Covered in shavings. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the camera's well out of focus. Um, That's all right. We can see you. Near yeah, enough. I'm here. Yeah. yeah, it's only a cheap one on this anyway. So yeah, no, you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see if you had shavings all over you. No, no it's not <laughs> the best of light where I'm in. <laughs> but, uh, they were I'm flying around office. a bit. Mm. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> Got rid of the worst. Got a pocket full. Yeah, but... well, that's all right. Take them yeah. in and shake them about the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will. They will go down the loo, or nearly. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, it's been a privilege to turn this piece of timber tonight. And I really have felt honoured to be allowed to. And um, thank you for Keith for that, and giving me that, realising that ambition of doing something that was nearly as big as I could get on the lathe. I could have got bigger, but that was that I'll was see if not, I can not find not... a bigger piece for another time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make it a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's good. It's good fun. We've had a laugh tonight. We've had some serious bits. We've had quite a few questions in there, and I think we've answered them all. Um, good, good. As they've gone and come along, yeah. So yeah, everyone's so just... signing off now. So having a quick glance at the chat, but yeah, it's uh, it's lovely. Thank you very much, all of you. Right, I'm going to end it now. One, two, three. Good. Here we go. Good night, go everybody. Thank you all. End broadcast.